that daughter but the problem was as soon as the daughter was born right she was so beautiful yes the brahma fell in love with her <laughs> she's all emotional play where is the exactly. thought exactly. from the thought you have given a rise to a robo <laughs> now the robo becomes emotional himself right rajnikanth has shown this now in that robo film ah uh, yes all these are ideas from there so mm. out of his own creation brahma starts chasing this girl mm. this girl starts running mm. and she keeps changing her form mm. 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 and as she changes form brahma also changes form wonderful <laughs> brahma changes form of the male of that species of which that girl has changed the female female right right and that right. is how 100 species are born <laughs> and that li- girl was called shatrupa ah okay okay shak shatra roop yes 1000 1000 form 1000 images 1000 form so lal is what is lal nothing it's brahma's creation yes so shatrupa had the capability of changing forms yes and changing one to another to thousand forms huh? and the lal itself word itself is from uh, from our own language hindi and there it uh, the apple of one sai okay uh, lal doesn't necessarily mean a gender so bias now we have created a lal or mm-hmm. a shatrupa or whatever mm-hmm. now the question is the second big question mm-hmm. which i think we are not answering right now mm-hmm. or we are afraid <laughs> we are actually afraid if you look at the just go to wikipedia page of laws of robotics mm. you will find contradictory set of laws yes asimov will say something mm. satyana dela is saying something else exactly there is something who is 180 degree and says don't bother about so the robots will rule yes. they will so they should be self protective they should be so you are talking about self replication if one lal can happen one shatrupa can happen the robots can self replicate right but the problem is we'll have to put their machines together mm. or maybe they are able to do it I, i we don't know at this juncture we'll yes. talk about this later mm. i think the bigger question which we are afraid of answering mm-hmm. is that we are living in a mess yes we human beings do not follow ethics exactly we talk of ethics Yes. we talk of ethics as power dynamics to control the other person exactly so are we afraid mm. that we are formulating a ai which is like us mm. Mm. our fear is that what if this ai becomes like us it will create more mess than what we have created yeah because they are much more capable so aren't we afraid about it why aren't why aren't we allowing when we are evolving ai mm. instead of teaching ethics and all that yes let us wait and see in laboratory control situation right. and see what ai brings in mm. maybe a new way to perceive reality mm. exactly. maybe a evolve a new world mm. if it ai evolves a new world for us mm. we may be happy we may be actually get out of this idiocy in which we are living exactly. where we are where we are not talking of emotional balance with thought mhm rather than we think emotion is bad this is bad that is bad. unnecessary bad and good dichotomies we are living mm. let the ai integrate the data mm. within a control situation obviously and see what what it brings out it may be a new order of the world mm. then we can take reverse from ai and learn from it mm. that will be cohabitation we no, live right. sir we live in okay if you ask me in one big line to define human beings mm. we live for pleasure and pain mm-hmm. to avoid extinction <laughs> at, at an individual or collective level <laughs> fair enough we using our memory emotion thought and anticipation that turns to behavior so <laughs> a robo may replicate mm-hmm. self protect and be aware and conscious mm. the robo is going to be as somebody said is the ultimate beneficiary of our knowledge yes it's not we we are no. thinking we are thinking right. ultimate actually mm. <laughs> we, are, we will be beneficiary of ai when the ai brings out a new order in the world mm. Mm. that's 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 you your know, your creative thinking <laughs> so uh, what we are doing now benefit uh, mm. benefiting from it in evolving itself 
But my biggest question is, if we are creating some new order and new machine, somebody, something which we want to think and let us wait. Let us not feed it with all our warped ideas mm. because we are sure in 2020 mm. that our ethics has not worked. It has, never, it has never worked. Mm. It mm. Was, there were always people who were exploiters. Mm. There were people who were exploited. Yes. There was a Raja and there was a Praja. <laughs> in democracy, the Raja Praja got mixed so that everybody is fighting. Yes. We don't have to do anything. We just have to pick up the newspaper and see what nonsense is happening. That's right. So even for a thing like COVID, when a vaccine is coming, there's a huge political debate going on. Who will receive it? Why will they receive it? And nobody knows. Mm. So what I'm saying, the leaders on the, in this field and the thinkers of this field should not obsess too much over teaching ethics because they should realize the ethics which they are trying to teach over is their own lopsided ethics. <laughs> what has their ethics created? It has created exploitation. Mm. Are we ready to? So if we are so intelligent, I mean, there's a big question to humanity. Mm. If you are so bloody intelligent, and why do you have to teach a robot? Why don't you change yourself? Yeah, that's the so first thing, it, yes. It brings me back to the same thing. Yeah. Are we aware that we cannot change ourselves? Mm. So we want to create a spark which will change itself. But then because of the fear and the power lust we have, we do not even allow, want to allow the spark to evolve its own ethics. <laughs> you see the cash 22 Yes, situation. there is a dichotomy here. Yes, yes. Very cash true. 22 is, again yes. I'll repeat it because it's very yes. important. Yes. I know that my ethics is not working. I'll not accept it. So I want something which will which is more ethical, mm. but that more ethical thing will give me inferiority complex. Mm. So I don't want to allow it to do it. Does right? It force me to change if I need to go with that. Wonderful. And let me give you a human example for this. Sure. This may be very radical. This may be very very shocking, mm. but I still believe it totally in it. Mm. There's something called marriage. Mm. India is obsessed with marriage. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hello. Two people are living together. <laughs> living together, happily, not married, whatever. They have their share of pleasure, pain, whatever. Mm. You take these people and whatever ritual, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, mm. and tell them you're married. This is just one word, huh? <laughs> yes. Just one word. Mm. And their mindset changes. Mm. From two happy people, in most marriages, you yes. know the what goes on, yeah. <laughs> they become people who are trying to change each other all the time. <laughs> all the time. And they know that this is foolish. I mean, what is what is happening? Yes. What is happening? Nobody wants. This happens because of the power dynamics. Mm. At least in India, we know mm. for majority of the marriages. This is immediately related to something called what we call a patriarchy and uh, mm. women liberation. Mm. Men know that if they liberate women and if they allow them to do it, mm. <laughs> they will surpass them. Yes. Because women have more power than men. That's of true. Of tolerance, of, of multitasking. Mm. So they will keep saying, no, no, women should do. Ye padhao, veti padhao, ye banao, wo banao. When it comes to it, they mm. will hold these invisible threats. Because <laughs> the fear. Because they are afraid that they will make a new world. What will happen to me in the new world? The same game we are playing here. Right. And let me tell you something, just to end with it and then maybe mm. we will proceed. Mm. There is a word, we are talking in what? We are talking in a virtual world, isn't it? Mm. You know where this virtual world comes from? It comes from a root called vir, V-I-R. Ah, oh, yeah, yes. Latin word, isn't it? It is. It meant man. Mm. Because that was a totally Latin patriarchal society. Mm. So it was saying the essence of man is virtue. Mm. But they took it and transposed it to chastity and all that to women. Mm -hmm. You are a virtuous woman if you are chastity. From that, it came, virtual world came from that. <laughs> right in virtual, when you are talking, it is the essence of talking. 
<laughs> so what are you take our virtues mm. and transpose it to a virtual world that's all right there's no mm. problem mm. but if you are it's, it's like bringing up a kid mm. you just guide the kid let the kid's brain evolve a new world mm. so we have to i think in laboratory controlled situation we have to stop teaching ethics mm. to some ai machines mm. just give them data of emotion there is that conceptual thinking let's mm. create that conceptual thinking and let's see what do they make out of the world we have the mm. know how and technology mm. in the game them can game can be a virtual reality mm. if that suits us then a, a reverse collaboration can be done yes wonderful wonderful but the only only thing that i can see the yeah. reality is that that machine is too far away and um we really no one has if you like the total knowledge of ethics there may be no. some laws which no. after a few years uh, or um, decades change as as yeah. was the case with uh, robotic laws and so on which we will talk about in the forthcoming series yeah but basically the uh, the reality is that we are far away from uh, really building in uh, emotions and so on into the but into the machines what we can teach machine is make itself learn based on action so so it will only do actions based on what it has been taught now sir, that there sir, is, but there is, is a issue problem. there is a issue a mm -hmm. uh, lot of we know by experience mm -hmm. uh that a uh, lot of science mm. lot has gone into some different direction exactly. because of one one small error in thinking mm. at the seed yes so either any way whatever you think can go wrong there is no mm. problem in that that's mm. all right mm. but when we think and take a direction that direction is very important mm. so we will not be there to see that that's right but the direction which we set now mm. will bring out whatever it has to bring mm. so my my contention is very simple let's do a double blind thing <laughs> let's teach some robots our ethics let's not teach some robots our ethics yes yes and compare it mm. Mm. we see which let us be brave enough to accept our fallacies as a human race mm. and see if there is a better alternative when we when we people who believe in god what are they asking god all the time <laughs> they are all all the time they are asking god of a alternative mental state mm. bhagwan theek kar do sukoon do abhi sukoon do lo bhaiya tumhare paas to sukoon hai <laughs> usko kyon pareshan kar rahe ho that means ki aapka mental state sukoon nahi hai mm. and you are asking for a alternative mental state from god which is fine <laughs> he may oblige or not oblige that is his issue his or her the question is <laughs> you are acutely aware of your torn cloth mm. right you want god to do a rafu on it yeah in right? shortcomings <laughs> in shortcomings which you can change but mm. that's all right if you can't change you ask god that is god, god may oblige not oblige whatever so <laughs> but the question again so what i'm saying why are we trying to act god mm. that is the biggest need sir for ai <laughs> we want to act god mm. Mm. whether there is a god or not is not the question the question mm. is we want to act to the, act to the concept of god mm. we have to do we have to let go of few things mm. in a controlled situation i am again repeating in a laboratory mm. situation mm. we don't have to unleash on the world mm. our only fear is that at some point because we really do not know the deeper processes neither of machine learning mm. nor of black box human mind yeah no human mind mm. it is just happening to large extent we know some nodes and this and that but we don't know anything beyond that exactly so we are afraid that at some juncture the thing may just go out of control mm. that is the biggest fear that is and the history has shown that whether it's theory or actual machines they yeah. do go out of control yeah. like for example atom theory atomic theory got yeah. misused 
for totally destructive purposes, whereas it was originally but, but thought so, of. Sir, so was Chengiz Khan. Exactly. So was Hitler. Hmm. No, but they, they, they were there to plunder. They didn't have any peaceful ideas. But that's so a different issue. But here, might, the original idea was have. to benefit uh, the society. But it was. Uh, it I was doubt. Issues. I seriously doubt this. I seriously doubt this whether this is benefit. Benefit was one of the thing. Mm -hmm. But if you you started with science fiction, I'm going back to science fiction. Mm. Way back there was something called Frankenstein. Mm, Frankenstein, yes. Frankenstein. What was Frankenstein? Mm. It went out of control. Exactly. Right. Now the person who who thinks of this, as I said, there is a violence and power dynamics exactly. balance with. Altruism and sacrifice. Mm. So I think both things go in. Mm. There is also a sense of power. The oh, see what I can do. Mm. Now things may be get beneficial. That's all right. I mean, but uh, it's more complicated than simple superficial. Yes. You know, mm. Yes. Because I, I will just read out something to you. Sure. I've just opened a Wikipedia page of law mm. of robotics. Mm -hmm. Okay. See the type of stuff which is being talked. We will uh, we'll talk about that in uh, in detail uh, yeah. soon after, yeah. but quickly yeah. just uh, bring your points here. Yes. No, what I'm saying so when people talk of ethics, mm. uh, do we have a consensus on ethics? Mm. Like that's, the, that's the big question. If we have a consensus for AI, then fine, go ahead. Mm. And then who is making a consensus? Industry leaders, philosophers, le spiritual leaders. Mm. Philanthropist, who who is governments making? and so governments, on, governments and so on. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's like lockdowns. There's another lockdown going on in Europe. Mm. So, God, who is advising for what lockdown? What are you going to do whatever has happened has happened already. Once exactly. you have opened up, it's already there. Yes. What are you What are you going to gain by lockdown? Mm -hmm. So and seriously. something which is unproven, that's very It is unproven. So I seriously feel lockdowns, they have got a new weapon of control. That's so it. That's you decide there's a problem, lockdown. So what I'm saying, if if such a AI power goes into the hand of those people. Mm. Who are destructive or narcissistic yeah, and so, so on. Not who are narcissistic and so what benefit is going to emanate? Because benefit again is for, if it is for like Gandhi comes in again. Mm. We have talked about it. Gandhi, for Gandhi, there was nothing called majority or minority. Mm, that's right. That is why today people find it very difficult to understand him. He mm. was not talking of major, majority or minority. Mm. He was talking about uh, the last man. Yeah. Last man. Mm. He said, whatever you do. In fact, when India got independence, some people went to him. Jagjeevan Ramji, you mm. know that old minister. Yes. He went to Gandhi, said, Ki, Bapu, give me some advice. We are going to, to start fresh. Gandhi said, I'll give you a talisman. Mm. So he said, you and talisman, you don't believe in all these things. So he said, Let's take it. He wrote in a paper. He said, whatever you do, just keep that in mind that this benefit, the, the result of this action should reach the last man. Yes. So Gandhi used to say 51% is majority. Mm. And 49% is minority. Mm. <laughs> so if you talk in these terms, the benefit will be with few people only. Is that you go to the last man? So either, so immediately related is that when we we were saying work wise, if mm. job loss is there, that's fine. Mm. People can enjoy their lives. But will somebody ensure that everybody gets their roof and food? Exactly. That's that's the final. Um, so so let's 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 talk about. Our ethics mm. correct that before feeding it into the machine. Yes. Well, once we feed into the machine, then we have no control. Then, then it goes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, that's 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 the way ahead. We need to improve ourselves all the time and come to consensus where it works for the whole uh, yes. set of people and to the last person who who deserves uh, at least the basic necessities. Now, thank you very much. We have talked about the, the Android data and, and Star Trek series. In the next uh, uh, session, we will talk about uh, the uh, usage of uh, scientific methods to 
be able to recreate life, uh, whether uh, from a, uh, a, an existing cell, which is happening right now, to an extent, very little. But there, there uh, has been one, no? Yeah. There was and, some. There was a frog which was created, which was not yeah. exactly a frog. There is the dolly, the sheep, and all that, which is, but yeah. that is again uh, uh, artificial insemination and all that. But there, there are two aspects that we will talk about in the next one, which is whether one can create a uh, biological cell on its own uh, or uh, using a seed cell. So we'll talk about that. And also sure. then the following that, the series that we want to do is uh, on um, the laws of robotics, which you, sure, sure. Uh, you have indicated towards. Sure, and um, so this is the way we will move in the next uh, months or so. Right. So wonderful of you to explain mm -hmm. away these very deep concepts and we keep on going. I, I, I think people people should write back and then yes people the, are enjoying and there were there is verbal uh, um, praise coming for you and your uh, your ideas uh, and so on and there, there is some written stuff which i've already forwarded you yes where people no, I, I, I want people to question because otherwise consensus would never yes uh, you know about. in these days of uh, um, time poor, which has always been the case, but now it's become an excuse. People mm. don't want to necessarily spend time on things which are which they perceive as difficult for them. But I'm trying to get more specialists as yeah. well as common folks. So we hope that uh, in the one uh, where we talk about laws of robotics, we'll have some sure, people sure, sure. who are specialists as well as a person, sure. you know, at least who who thinks uh, very uh, much like uh, a general uh, right. person and right. not being a specialist, right. who right. talks basically from the experiences and whatever points we raise. We, we in, can have a sort of panel also. Yes, that's the panel that I'm, I've already uh, created and right. you are a member of that, but uh, People are taking their time no, to right, vote, let, but let I haven't know. received a no from uh, uh, from everyone. I've received one no, but the, even that is not a no. The, the lady says that uh, she will come back as soon as she has some time. No so one, but a lot expect, of time on that. Yeah, so we can we can take it as as. Anyway, the, we have till twenty four hundred, so there is no problem. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, that's okay, very, Okay, thank you very much yes, for your time, you. Dr. Bajpayee. And thank you to the listeners and viewers Thanks. of uh, Sunyato. All the best. Bye-bye.